YouTube, it's your boy Sam from Team Sam Rex One here. Happy Tuesday! Oh! It is Wednesday, my dudes. Happy holidays. Your boy got a Christmas tree. Yes! This is my first Christmas tree I actually ever had in my entire life. I've seen Christmas trees, but that's the first one I ever got. So there you go. Makes me super happy. Right there, Christmas tree. Thumbs up. Smash thumbs up button for that Christmas tree. Anyways, in today's video, guys, this combo is making people quit Yu-Gi-Oh. I guarantee it, man. Let me tell you, there are combos that bring out Chukin Wall Calamities, AKA VFD, and that locks you from playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Correct, right? There are combos that looks at your opponent's hand and take one card out of your opponent's hand. Yes, pretty disgusting, right? Yeah, screw you, Smoke Grenade. There are also combos that looks at your opponent's entire hand and also takes out every card out of your opponent's entire hand. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty degenerate, right? But what if I told you, there was another combo that just doesn't even let your opponent play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a combo that unnegatable, and it's a combo that literally doesn't let your opponent interact with you. It's like, so basically an FTK, a first turn kill. But this first turn kill is unique because your opponent has to sit and go through their turn and they have to realize that they can't do anything on their turn because they're locked from even activating or even doing anything. They can't do stuff at all. Set cards, summon cards, whatever. This combo literally skips your opponent's turn. So it's like, do you know the Uno reverse card? It's basically like that. It's playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but you get your opponent's first turn. So I'm gonna show you guys a combo. It's mind boggling how crazy this thing is and a thing like this actually exists. And what if I told you that this combo is also banlist proof? So Hockey Fibrax, you don't need that. Link Cross, you don't need that. Marshall Metal Marcher, you don't need that. Hero to Arc Light, you don't need that. What? This deck doesn't use Hockey Fight. Sign me up, sign me up, guys. You guys are about to see in a second. By the way, let's hit our like goal for today's video. 2,000 plus like. Break it, cut it out, That thumbs up button for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh videos, man. And turn on the... All right, guys, turn on that bell. It'll be absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. This, this, this combo is making people quit Yu-Gi-Oh. 100,000%, guys. All right, let's just jump right into it, man. Let's go. Konami, what have you done? What have you done with this deck right here? The most underlooked Yu-Gi-Oh deck in this format that's coming out of Genesis Impact. And let me tell you right now, the ban list is coming and this deck is 100,000% ban list proof, okay? You guys already seen all the crazy combos that this deck is able to make. VFD, you have Imperial Order Lock, your opponent can't play Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever. What if I told you that this deck doesn't need Needle Fiber? The deck doesn't need Crystron Hockey Fibrax. The deck doesn't need Link Cross, Marshall Metal Marcher. It doesn't need any of that. What if I tell you this is a pure 40 card ritual deck? This is probably the most terrifying deck of the Yu Gi Oh! 2021 format. Next year is going to be one heck of a hectic year, for sure, because Drytrons is a deck. And you've seen done it again, guys. If you guys want to check out this deck profile, check it in the description box below. You guys will be amazed on how crazy this deck is. So let me. Quickly analyze his hand. Emergency can get Gamma, Prep can get Ben, Fafnir gets Nova, Bethor, Full, Ben 10, Appaloosa. Um, sorry guys, I'm trying to make up the plays in my head before I misplay. <laughs> this is like me thinking at a YCS thing. <laughs> sorry, sorry jazzing up, my bad man. <laughs> okay, this is what we're gonna do. Our hand is actually super broken, so we have full combo. This combo literally will make players rage quit, 100%. Like, they're not playing this game, guys, honestly. The worst combo in the game is not hand loop. It's not locking your opponent for playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's actually just skipping their turn. Emergency is gonna get, Emergency is gonna get Gamma, and now we'll get Prep. Okay, Prep is gonna get, so add Ben 10, and then Fafnir is gonna get Nova. Nova is probably the most unfair card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh right now. And the reason why I decided to make this video is because of how unique 
the ritual archetype is when it comes to the Yu-Gi-Oh 2021 format. We're gonna add Nova directly from our deck to our hand. The crazy thing about this ritual archetype is that it doesn't rely on the extra deck at all. It obviously uses cards from the extra deck to come off, but it is not reliant on going to Haki Firebrex. It is not reliant on going to Link Cross. Who cares if those cards get banned? If those cards get hit on the ban list, who gives a damn? And you guys will see by the end of this combo, you guys will see that we didn't even use a lot of cards in our extra deck. We're gonna activate Nova. Nova is especially an Alpha directly from the deck. And Alpha is probably the most unfair card in this deck. And Alpha pluses off Link Karibo is what makes this deck ridiculous. Nova is insane, guys. Nova is probably one of the best e-emergency quick launch type card ever created when it comes to a single archetype like Drytrons right here. So we're gonna make Link Rebo, and Alpha gets to come out by freely sending Gamma to the graveyard. Okay, cool, this is our third summon, and I'm gonna add a Ritual Monster directly from my extra hand. So the combo is Megalith the Thor, Ben 10, and we're missing Megalith Full. So we get to add our missing combo pieces. So we're gonna add Megalith Full, which is absolutely amazing. And now what we can do is that we can actually activate Gamma in the graveyard, Gamma will activate its ability to pitch Delta to special them itself back from the grave and then Gamma will get its effect to reborn back the Delta that we ditched which is really really insane so and this is our fifth summon unfortunately but since we already have combo on our hand what we're trying to aim for is to play around hand traps and the hand traps that we're trying to play around is Nibiru, Ash Blossom as long as we can use all our other effects before we trigger off our Bathor, Benten, and Megalith Fault we're pretty much lit so we're trying to bait out all the hand traps as much as possible there you go, okay. So, we got Nibiru, okay? Which is, okay, which is the usual. Everybody's playing Hand Traps, Ash, Nibiru, Forbidden Droplets, Tactic Talents, whatever they wanna play. Everybody has Hand Traps in today's metagame, and the wonderful thing about this deck is that it plays through Hand Traps like absolute butter. Crazy, bread and butter, man. Super, super sleek and clean. And the fact that this deck plays no break is just absolutely beautiful. So now, we can fully Combo off. Okay, so let's see uh, what we can do. So we can activate Bathor. So we know Megalith Bathor's effect. This card lets us ritual summon from our hand, uh, which is amazing. So we're gonna summon Full by sending Ben 10 to the graveyard. Full is gonna summon itself. Full gets to activate its effect. Okay, we get to recycle back Ben 10 from our graveyard to our hand. And then Ben 10 will also trigger off to search another copy of Ben 10 directly from our deck to our hand. So do you guys see how problematic this is? Ben 10 searches Ben 10. And now Full gets to recycle back Ben 10, like... Wait, what? You're telling me that I get to utilize Ben 10's effect multiple times in one turn, and it's not a once per turn effect, and it's a card that can easily search itself? Oh, it's literally insane. So now what we get to do is very simple. We get to activate Megalith's full effect. This card is insane because we get a Ritual Summon directly from the deck. Full gets access to a feel by tributing what? Ben 10. And what happens when Ben 10 gets tributed? More searches, more power. So if Fio summons itself, Ben 10 will trigger off its effect. Ben 10 gets to search Soul Purity and Light, and Ophio gets to search an Ock directly from our deck to our hand. And now what we can do is very simple, okay? We're gonna activate our Delta effect that's in the graveyard. This is the only Dry Charm monster that we haven't activated its effect yet. So we're gonna go Delta, we get to send Ben 10 to the graveyard. Ben 10 is gonna trigger off one more time to search, which is crazy. So Delta summons, we get to reveal Ritual, okay, which is the Ark. We get to draw one free card, Upstar Goblin, why not? Okay, we drew Terraforming, which is not bad. We have a follow-up on the following turn. And now we get to activate Ben 10's effect to search another monster directly from our deck to our hand. Now we get to search Manju. And the reason why I'm searching Manju is because during this entire combo, your boy did not even normal summon. I didn't even, but I haven't even normal summoned yet. We're gonna normal summon Manju. We're gonna search a Morphage, Pain, the Imagination, Dracoverlord right here. And you guys are probably wondering, Sam, what the F is this card? What does this card do? And it basically, it's a skill drain which is absolutely broken, and it also skips your opponent's main phase one. So they go from draw phase, standby phase, and they have to go to battle phase. <laughs> and it gets even better. And you guys think this is it? it this is not it, this, I promise you. I promise you this is not it, okay? We get to summon Barricade Board Block. And the reason why Barricade isn't here is because it's a machine, and it's also a generic Link 2 monster. And now since we cleared up our zones, we get to summon our Soul Impurity and Light. We can banish Manju and also Ben 10 from our graveyard. Summon Soul Impurity. And look, Soul Impurity and Fall are both level 6 monsters, so we get access to Beatrice immediately. So we're going to overlay for Beatrice. You guys already seen this combo before when I summon Beatrice to send the Imperial Order to the Graveyard, but in this time, we're not going to send Imperial Order to the Graveyard. We're not. 
We're not gonna send the Imperial Order through Eva, okay? Because we're gonna FTK our opponent. We're not gonna let our opponent play Yu-Gi-Oh. Since we got Beatrice on the field, we're gonna use Beatrice effect. We get attached so Purity or Foe, it doesn't matter. We get to dump this card. Thunder of Ruler. You guys probably seen this card in FTKs, Final Countdown FTKs, but you've never seen this card in a combo based deck. And what this card does is that during your opponent's standby phase, you can activate this card. There is no battle phase this turn. So there's no battle phase this turn. You guys are gonna see how crazy this effect really is because now we get to use Barricade and our Delta right here that's on the field. We get to make our Aurora Dawn. Okay, and this is really important on why I sent Thunder of Ruler to the graveyard. Aurora Dawn gets a trigger off its effect. We're gonna summon three tokens to our side of the field. Okay, one. Okay, two, and three. Simple, very simple. And now using Ordon's effect, we're gonna tribute three tokens to add the Thunder Ruler from our graveyard to our hand. Okay, uh, which is amazing. We're gonna add this card to our hand, and now what we can do is that we can set Thunder Ruler, and we can activate our Megalith Ophiel. Okay, we get a Ritual Summon a monster from our hand using this card's ability. We're gonna summon, of course, the Dracova Lord Ritual Monster by tributing, of course, the Ophiel and the Ock. Summon his card to our side of the field. And with this card right here, this card's an as of thought, okay? It doesn't activate. Skill Drain doesn't work on this card. You summon this card, you win the entire duel. This card skips your opponent's main phase. And I'll teach you guys basic, simple game mechanics right here, okay? So now your opponent proceeds to go into their standby phase, okay? And I'm gonna teach you guys some basic game mechanics of Yu-Gi-Oh. We're gonna activate our Thunder Ruler right here in your opponent's standby phase, okay? There is no battle phase this turn. So this card skips your opponent's battle phase. Dracova Lord skips your opponent's main phase. Forbidden Droplet? What? That's fine. What is he gonna, he's gonna try to negate, what? You know it doesn't matter, right? So. Do you see what just happened there, guys? He tried to Forbidden Droplet, my Dracova Lord, to negate its effect before he can enter standby, but uh, before he ends off, before he ends his standby phase, but immediately, once he ends his standby phase, he goes to end phase. And you know why this happens? He tried, he tried. <laughs> WTF, why can't I go to main phase? Well, chaz it up, let me explain simple game mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh. If you cannot, have a battle phase, you cannot have a main phase two. How Yu-Gi-Oh works is draw phase, standby phase, main phase one, then battle phase, after battle phase and main phase two. You cannot have a main phase two if you don't have a battle phase. So what phases do you have left and you can't have a main phase one and then battle phase, you're going directly to the freaking end phase. This is why this card is very problematic. This is why this is an FTK, because of what? Because your opponent cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh. The only card that he had interaction with was Forbidden Droplet. That's it. That's all he could activate. He can't battle with me. He can't summon a monster. He's just gonna go straight directly to his end phase. And now guess what? I have OTK. Literally, this is game. We can literally go terraforming. Okay. No need to overextend because if he has another Nibiru in his hand, I basically lose the duel. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna try to summon the most minimal cards as much as I possibly can. So we can go Fafnir. Uh, very simple. Okay, adds Nova, and then I'm just gonna OTK him, and then pretty much we'll just call it a night, boys. Okay, we're gonna go Nova. Okay, Nova summons Zeta. Okay, awesome. Now we can use Gamma's effect in the grave. So that's two summons now. Okay, and then Gamma's gonna activate special, of course, our Zeta from the graveyard. Okay, very simple. So that's our four summons. So I don't want to summon anymore. We can go literally our Aurodon. We're gonna tribute this to destroy the Nibiru token. And that's pretty much it. Like, there's no need to further extend a combo place for no reason, right? But you guys see what just happened, right? Literally, he, he just passed the turn to me. <laughs> literally, drop face, stand my face, end face. Done. He's he's not he's not winning the duel. It's it's game. It's literally game. Even evilly match, even evilly match, even evilly match cannot even. Beat this board. Uh, this is just stupid, man. I didn't even have a turn. I am so sorry. This is what's literally gonna make people quit, man. The fact that they don't even get to play Yu-Gi-Oh is a huge problem. And listen, this deck, look at how many cards I have left in my extra deck, boys. I have 11 cards in my extra deck. I have 11 cards in my extra deck. This is what's ridiculous, man. 
this is crazy. 11 cards left. I didn't use Needle Fiber. I didn't use Link Cross. I didn't use Marcher. I didn't use Herald, Boar Sword, Savage Dragon. I didn't use none of that. This deck is 100% balance proof, and you guys gotta look at this deck for yourself. You guys gotta see this deck for yourself and the true power that this deck holds. It is insane. And this card right here is probably the most terrifying Yu Gi Oh card when it comes to the Yu Gi Oh 2021 format, man. This is crazy. We're not hand looping, we're not summoning VFD, we're not locking them from playing Yu Gi Oh. We're literally skipping their turn. Tell Knight Ptolemaeus, Arcana Force. The world, we're literally doing that. We're skipping our opponent's turn. Is this healthy? Absolutely not. Is this unique? Yes, the build is crazy. Like I always, guys, you see? Check out the deck list down below for the cleanest 40 card ritual based deck you guys will ever see on the entire YouTube internet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash the living heck out of that thumbs up button. Let's aim, our, for, let's aim for our like over 2,000 plus likes for this crazy deck. Let me know your thoughts about this deck in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. Oh, man, people are going to quit because they did.